What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna explain to you why it's so important to have multiple sports betting accounts uh, when trying to become a profitable sports better. So the reason why it's so crucial is because every sports book has different odds, okay? We can look at this as a perfect example. Bucks minus nine and a half first half is plus 135 on MGM. FanDuel has it at plus 122. Barstool has it at plus 118. My bookie has plus 108. So if I was, you know, just loyal to Barstool, I'd be taking it at plus 118 when I could get it at plus 135 on MGM. That's a 17 cent difference. Now, some people might be like, well, it doesn't matter if it hits, you know, I'm still going to win. Yeah, but that's just kind of a, a stupid mentality because wouldn't you want to maximize your potential, your potential profits? You know, you're not going to win every bet. You know, I definitely don't win every bet, but I know that when I do win, I'm getting the best value for it. Also, this bet on MGM has a EV percentage or a profit margin of 4.97%, which means that if I put a hundred bucks on this and I, you know, took bets like this one after another, after another, after another, my profit margin would be just about five bucks per hundred dollars. That's really solid. Now you might think, oh, like, why am I risking you know, hundred bucks to, to make $5 profit in the long run. Well, that's per bet. If you made a hundred of these bets, that's $500. You know, you make a thousand of these bets and that's off of a hundred dollar, you know, DNOM, you know, your average bet could be 250 or 500, whatever it is. But by taking this on the MGM versus Barstool, it's the difference between a profitable bet at plus 135 and a losing bet in the long run um, on Barstool at plus 118. You can see the average odds for something like this is plus 119. So getting a plus 135 is an absolute steal. Getting at a plus 118, not so good. And you can see like all of these book, all of these lines have are from different books. You know, the best line here on MG is MGM. The best line here is FanDuel. The best line here is my bookie. The best line here is FanDuel again. Win bet, MGM, Barstool. You know, if you want to do a price picks entry, throw this in there. These are all from different books. So if you were to just stick to one book. Let's just say Barstool, okay? Because I know when I first started sports betting, that was the book that I used primarily. You know, you're you're missing out on a lot of potential profits, even if you didn't want to like do EV betting, even if you just wanted to, you know, just casually sports bet, at least have multiple books in order to find the best lines, you know, to maximize that potential payout. Because that's that's really the only way, you know, to not get kind of like completely shelled when you're sports betting. You know, obviously the the house has an edge. You know, you're getting a minus 110 for a normal like over under um, with the implied probability of 50% of hitting because it's minus 110 on both sides. But in order to break even at minus 110, you got to be winning. I think it's like 52.38% of the time or so. So, you know, but if you can get those at minus 105 instead of minus 110, at least it helps a little bit more. Also, what's so nice about having multiple sports books is you have access to all the different sports books, you know, their boosts, their parlay boosts, their, you know, promos, stuff like that. You know, we can take a look at Fandles right here and, you know, I'm, I'm going to run the numbers on this later and, and see if it's profitable, profitable or not. It's a bit tricky because, you know, it's combined. So you're saying average out to like 50 a pop, but you know, it's a little, a little trickier, but this is a great boost. I mean, for face value, like I said, I haven't really looked into, looked into it much yet, but <clears throat> They have this price at minus 125. Now they're offering a plus 130. So you can put 50 bucks on it. So if you put 50 right here, you can see the payout 65 profit instead of um, like 40 profit. So like that's why you'd have a FanDuel account. DraftKings also has things. DraftKings has a lot of like, you know, goal in the first 10 minutes of a hockey game boosted from minus 165 to plus 100. You play that every single time. You know, it's a it's not a free $10, but in the long run, that's a profitable bet. Uh, Caesars has a lot of like parlay boost, 25% parlay boost. I've seen even 100% parlay boost. That makes any bet profitable. You could put whoever you want. You could take three minus 500 money lines, four minus 500 money lines, whatever it is, have that 100% boosted. That's a very profitable bet. So between finding the best lines on just a, like any bet on top of EV betting, if that's something you're into, you also have those boosts. You have those profit boosts, you have different rewards, you have different offers, you have different, you know, deposit matches, you have the, the first deposit bonuses. 
it's so crucial to capitalize on those because that's where a lot of the money is. So I really do suggest that, um, you know, if you guys want, I, you know, definitely open up uh, as many accounts as you can. Obviously. Uh, so like for here, I'm in Arizona. I'm, I have one for Bally, but I mean, I have one for every single one, but you know, look how many books I have. I have Bally, Betfred, Bet River, Caesars, DraftKings, Flip, Hard Rock. Uh, these are some of the DFS platforms, Unibet, WinBet, Price Picks, or Superbook, Price Picks, you know, FanDuel, Desert. I have so many, I have so many books that, you know, the key, and I, and I have a little bit of money in all of them is because, you know, with EV betting, it's such a, like a speed game. It's all about, because these lines are going to switch. They, they change so fast. There's a ton of mistakes out there, but they change fast. So if you can capitalize on it, great. But you don't have time to go find something, then deposit money. And then, and then, you know, let that process and then go find the bet by then it'll be gone. Um, so it's kind of crucial also to have money in every single book that you can, even if it's 50 bucks, you know, just enough. So if, you, if there's a crazy line that comes out, you can go and place it. Uh, and that's kind of what I've done. And, you know, it's, it's really, it's helped me a lot. I, I went from a losing sports better, uh, you know, just kind of like your typical sports, but I love betting overs, love betting favorites, parlays, all that stuff. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. But <clears throat> ever since I, you know, opened up multiple books, started doing EV betting. Uh, and even if I wanted to have a, like a fun bet, I would just line shop to find my best line or kind of see where Pinnacle's uh, direction they're heading in. Just to kind of, kind of get a better idea of like where the money is uh, or where that line is moving. And, you know, I've been doing this for about seven months or so. And I've, you know, I've been able to make over $25,000, uh, just by doing this. And it's great. You know, I have fun. Uh, I get to sports bet for a living. I get to sit and watch games. I get to do everything I love. Uh, but I'm also making money on it. So it, it, it's really awesome. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Anyways, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments or anything, you know, just comment them down below. If you have any suggestions on, uh, videos I should make going forward comment down below because I'm definitely looking for ideas and uh, that's about it. So uh, I'll see you guys.